So now in the last video, we just looked at a relay. Now we're going to look at a relay module. So the relay works out basically exactly the same. We got the module here though that has a bunch of other circuitry. All we have to do is uh, power the uh, relay. It's a 5 volt relay right there. The uh, load, you can power with a different power supply if you want. It uh, doesn't matter. This just switches it. But in case we have to power it, and then you give it a signal coming in. So this one, you can change whether it is a high level trigger or whether it's a low level trigger. So here is the uh, normally open. That means if you connect a circuit there, it will be off. If you have the uh, module here set to high, and a lot of modules are just high, then if you give it a high input, basically if you give it a 5 volt input there, then it will close that. So that's how you switch it. Without that high input, the relay is not switched. It's just sitting there. If you set this to low, then it would be a low level trigger. You just pop this out and then stick it over there across uh, these two pins. Then if you connect to ground, the negative supply right there, that's when the relay will switch. So the normally open will become closed and the normally closed will become open. Now we do have pins sticking out so I'm going to be careful on the breadboard. Be better not to set it on the breadboard because these three pins could all fall into the same row if uh, things just work out right. Hopefully they never would but in any case that would be a short circuit. Would be uh, bad. So shouldn't put it over the breadboard but I'm going to in this video. But there you can see a diode. That's probably the diode protecting the uh, coil in there and uh, there's other components on there. But uh, for the most part, we talked about all that's really important as far as we're concerned. So 5 volt DC, that's for switching it. And then it, uh, I know it's not showing up on camera. It says 250 volts alternating current, 10 amps. 125 volt alternating current, 15 amps right there. So it doesn't say, that's for the load over here by the way. As I said before, it can be a different power supply. It doesn't say what the voltage for DC is. I'm guessing it's probably about uh, 20 volts. Uh, based on the uh, current that they show there. Could be wrong though. So now I added some jumpers. So from the uh, positive supply on the uh, board there to DC plus right there and uh, DC negative right there. We got a little jumper going to the negative supply. So you can just use a screwdriver. The one that I use as a pointer uh, works just fine right there. And uh, just uh, counterclockwise to come up, put them in and then uh, clockwise down to uh, tighten them. So. We have the input here. You could attach a uh, jumper to that as well. But uh, right now, I'm just going to do a quick demonstration. This works on signals. So I can just uh, connect it directly from the positive supply. My depth perception was off because I was looking through the camera. But there we go. Now it's switched because it's to the positive power supply. The uh, screw there is electrically uh, connected metal on metal. So you could connect it there too. So. Now I'm going to go to the uh, negative supply and you can see it does nothing when you make a connection there when the jumper is set to high. So again, I don't think most relays have this option, but uh, some of them do. So that's something to look for when you buy them or uh, to troubleshoot too. If it's not working the way you think, maybe that's in the wrong spot if you're not expecting one of those. But now we set it to low. So we are at low and if I make a connection now it will switch right there and uh, and you could hear when I was making and breaking connections uh, really quickly that uh, this changes each time so you can switch it uh, pretty quickly so to the uh, positive you get uh, nothing right there it's waiting for a low to switch so now I turn the uh, power supply output off because we're going to do some uh, wiring. So it's a good idea. I must have grabbed the uh, blue jumper I was using before off the board. So now I got a red one there. I put it to the uh, ground there because uh, I still have this set to low. But in any case, we're going to wire up to the LEDs that I used in the uh, last video with just the relay. So straight across from uh, the resistor here. Let's move that LED out of the way. I'm going to put the uh, blue, or not the green one. I'm gonna put the blue jumper there. So that is COM. That was the uh, middle one. And uh, that's why you color code, in case you uh, miswire or something. So that's coming to from the resistor there, one kilo ohm resistor. So 
the green one that's in the normally closed spot right there and I could tighten it a little bit better but in case we're gonna go to the green LED so long lead the anode is up here short lead the cathode is down there and then the red LED we're gonna put the red jumper so this is the normally open right there so when the power supply is on make sure it's to the anode then that's open that will be off the green one will be on that's normal when you don't give it a, a triggering uh, signal so we'll zoom back here look at the power supply see how much current that we need so the lower the voltage the relay the more current it's going to need to get its coil to flow so we got about uh, five milliamps of current flowing through that's a 1000 ohm resistor makes sense so even though this is a red jumper it's too ground there we have it set too low and there you can see it switches so almost all of that current is the relay right there you can see it's 75 milliamps without the LED it would be somewhere around 70 milliamps so a lot more current at the lower voltages but you can work with lower voltages so there's pluses to that and of course if we go to the positive it's not going to switch right there unless we move the jumper over so now the uh, way that we have this wired up the single resistor going to com and then uh, headed towards uh, one or the other so you can see we got this high I set that to high and it switches right there so this this is a bit unusual so let's turn the uh, power supply off I shorted stuff hopefully I didn't fry anything and uh, what we're gonna do we got uh, two resistors from the positive supply there so I'm just gonna move the LED down so now the long lead the anode is to the resistor let's just get that out of the way and uh, long lead the anode to uh, that resistor right there for the green one and we turn the power supply off so now com the uh, blue pin we're just going to put to ground yeah, so the negative supply like that and uh, the red LED so that's normally closed so now current will go through that when we switch it we haven't switched it until we apply a signal and power right there so the green LED will have uh, when we turn the power on will light up it'll come to there and then go down to a ground right there so we got a resistor protecting an LED and uh, same with over here so powers on you can see we got the green LED we still have this set to the high trigger right there and you can see that uh, we switched it so now as a bonus I changed the setup a bit a lot of people are uh, real sticklers that uh, you have your circuit where you start at the positive supply you come to the switch and then you come to the resistor the LED by the way long lead anode now up to the resistor short lead the cathode to ground so that's uh, usually how you'll see circuits and schematics and stuff so I figured I would uh, make uh, another circuit where where we actually wire it the more traditional way so normally I would use red to go to the positive supply but I'm keeping the uh, jumpers in the same spots right there so we're gonna put blue to the positive supply and then the red one I do have the uh, power supply off right there we're coming to the resistor that protects the red LED right there and then uh, again with the uh, green one so what happens is when we turn the uh, power on from the positive supply blue jumper now the uh, green that's the normally closed spot green LED will be on we switch it then it will switch over to the uh, red jumper and the red LED will turn on so Let's uh, turn the uh, power supply on and we can zoom back a little bit so we're not blocking as much. And you can see we got our switch there. So it'd be better to use 220 ohm resistor. You can see how bright the uh, green one is right there. Since we're using five volts, we'd get that uh, four times, almost four times as much current, probably three times as much current through the red LED. It would be quite a bit brighter. So, so that would be good. But in any case, we already saw we need about 75 milliamps of current when the relay is being powered so right now that's the LED there and actually only 2 milliamps so 3 milliamps approximately is for the uh, circuitry so in any case I did my math wrong earlier we need about 
75 milliamps uh, total when we have the relay and the LED on so I have it to a uh, 0.1 amps right there again the relay uh, coil is 5 volts you don't change that voltage but for the load you can use higher voltages I'm guessing up to 20 volts for uh, DC and as you can see higher voltages for alternating current but DC tends to be low for some reason so any case I uh, thought I would throw in that uh, bonus hope you enjoyed make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting the screen turn the uh, power off and uh, check out the links down below they all help out a lot I'll see you in the next video